What's up guys? Alright, so what we're looking at today is we're going to be uh, trying out the GoFundMe crowdfunding website and it's probably the third in line, I would say, uh, behind Kickstarter and Indiegogo as far as popularity. Uh, the difference between GoFundMe and Kickstarter is that GoFundMe like basically can promote all kinds of stuff from like I need a new car to I need to go to college or um, you know more like um, you know, raising money like they uh, one lady had a lot of success raising money for uh, injuries that she suffered in the Aurora Colorado shooting so um, it's kind of like a um, just like an open forum basically or open uh, platform for almost any type of fundraising uh, you could want so um, that's where we're going to go ahead and try out today and see what type of ease of use it has and um, let's go ahead and start with the sign up process okay and I'll give my general website address to uh, the website so if you guys have any questions just uh, use the gmail account I think it's the easiest thing So um, essentially I'm going to be following the same format that we did last time. We're just going to try to raise money to advertise the website, the Noob Niche website, which is um, a crowdfunding uh, website that reports on news, um, some of the latest, like uh, what I call tips, like as far as like awesome crowdfunding projects that are currently existing right now, just to give people an awareness on the successes and failures that people are having. Uh, on different platforms, uh, but also to hold these platforms accountable because we're all waiting for the SEC to release the regulations for crowdfunding and essentially it allows uh, the typical American to be an angel investor, to be a, a capital uh, or venture capitalist. So it has a lot of promise to it, but we don't want, you know, a few bad portals and companies dragging down something that could be, uh, you know, a phenomenal way of doing business that changes the way things are done you know, almost like the internet changed the way business was conducted in the 90s and, you know, leading up to today. And um, now, you know, it's a lot of mobile talk and whatever. But, I mean, the crowdfunding thing can be, you know, and ultimately a game changer. I mean, um, they, they, there was one portal that was just recently, or a project that was recently started for a space telescope. And they raised, uh, as of uh, as of today, I believe it was $650,000 and, and over $100,000 on their first day. So when people believe in something, um, they will definitely contribute. And I think you can, you'll can you see a lot more of that once the SEC releases the regulations because you know not only are they going to get a dip at the product, they're actually going to get um, part ownership of that company. So you know, they become angel investors themselves, the typical American. So... Uh, we'll see what those regulations entail once they're released, and uh, I've been you know, I've been continuing to report on that. But that is the purpose of the website, so I, I think that it it does have a purpose. I want to be, um, yeah, I want to hold these companies accountable for uh, for their actions and things. So uh, both good and bad. So um, that's the purpose, and and the project is just going to be raising money for the. Um, for the advertising needed since I, I created the website myself I programmed it and everything so there's not too much risk I don't have to pay anybody to do that for me but um, you know there are expenses obviously but I, I just strictly want to use the campaign money for uh, advertising should it actually succeed um, so let's go ahead and do that so is it going to be for charity or oh, nothing um, I'll just do this one. It seems to be the most popular. Uh, goal amount, we'll do $1,000. And be a part of noobnitch.com. I guess it's... Yeah, I don't know if that's a good or bad title, but... Uh, Page color, I think red kind of screams. We'll go with the orange, I believe. Yeah, that, that should be good. Um, Facebook photo. Fine, I'll, I'll let them do that. Post to your friends, no. 
I hate when it tries to do that because then like you, you think you're just trying to comment on something and next thing you know it's all over Facebook and I honestly can't stand that but here we'll do this one okay oh crap I just said okay anyway I can turn that off later but it's fine actually you know what I'm gonna select that one that looks a little bit more professional I think all right position yeah, that should be fine. Continue. There we go. Um, all right, so go Fredericksburg, Virginia. Page message. Um, I guess this is where I kind of do the upsell. It's not very clear here, but uh, page message. So I'll say, I am trying to raise funds to promote noobnitch.com a crowd funding news and ratings website the goal is to raise awareness with the crowd funding crowdfunding I guess ideas and Hold crowd funding companies accountable for their actions. Okay, offer a rewards level. Yeah, sure. Um, so if you donate, I'll say twenty dollars. So I'll say gold level quantity. And choose a one guy. Um, okay. All right, so basically what I'm saying is if you donate $25 for the advertising, then your name will be added to the About Us uh, special thanks to. Um, so people can say, hey, you donated to the website, and, you know, I don't know, it looks charitable or whatever. So, um, no, I don't want to ask for their mailing address. So we have to use uh, WePay's terms. I don't even know who this company is. Um, okay, well, have to, you'll have to read that individually on an individual scale, but um, I'll visit that in a moment. Wow, that was a. Uh... Well, that was pretty easy, actually. That was um, much easier than Kickstarter. That's for sure. Kickstarter, I'm still jumping through hoops trying to get the um, account process set up, which is mainly with Amazon. Like you have to fax a bunch of documents to them and everything. Um, but yeah, this one. That was surprisingly easy, so uh, definitely ease of use. I mean, it's uh, it's way better than Kickstarter as far as getting the project, just getting getting it going, seeing your uh, pro progress here. So, um, other than that, that's about it. So uh, let me go back here because it says to continue. Post your page to Facebook. I don't want to do that well, here, so I'm going to skip this step. This step. Uh, invite email contacts to support you. Skip it. Post your page to Twitter. Skip it. Copy and paste and share your page link. Well, I can do that later. 
and then print your campaign sign. I'm going to skip that too. So I've raised zero dollars. All right, well, um, that go, that's going to go ahead and conclude this tutorial. I found that quite easy. Um, obviously, I've seen people try to like raise money for stuff that's questionable. Like, um, you know, I think it's kind of one of the downsides to something like this is that like you really don't know what the people are going to use the money for. Like in my particular case, if I do get the money, it'll strictly be used for advertising. But um, you know, I can't say that other people would, would live up to their uh, their pledge or whatever. So. Um, that's about it. So I definitely like the, the platform. It was very easy to use. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Make sure you visit uh, noobniche.com. It has all the latest crowdfunding information. And uh, subscribe to the channel. I also have tutorials that I do for programming if you're interested in that. And uh, that's it. So thank you for watching. Bye.